Puso tayo ng mag-aral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang mag-aral tayo ng matuto Upang di kayo masenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Hindi na mataral na tayo Matalino, halina mataral na tayo Halina mataral na tayo Halina mataral na tayo Halina, halina, halina Aral na tayo Salamat mo din, ma'am, sa ipinamalas ninyong galing at dahil dito for sure, marami na naman ang natutunan ng ating mga learners at home learning partners mula sa ikatlong baita. Ngayon naman, for sure, ay excited na lahat at pati na rin ang ating susunod na presenter. Siyempre, alam ko hindi rin ito magpapatalo, kaya huwag na natin patagalin pa. Our next presenter is a graduate of Bachelor in Elementary Education, major in Mathematics at City of Malabon University. She earned 24 units in her master's degree at Philippine Christian University. She is a grade 4 teacher and EPP coordinator of Pedro P. Cruz Elementary School. Ladies and gentlemen, our very own presenter from grade 4, Mrs. Marisol V. Velasco. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Bago ako mag-umpisa sa ating aralin ngayong araw, nais ko munang batiin ang mga namumuno sa Divisyon ng Mandaluyong, our OICSDS, Dr. Romela and Cruz OICESDS Dr. Aurelio G. Alfonso To our CIRD Chief Dr. Aline G. Mendoza To our SGOD Chief Ma'am Emma G. Arubio To our EPS in Mathematics Mr. Restituto Rodelas To our beloved Principal Dr. Emilda O. Garcia So all home learning partners Mandunong Kids Welcome to our Project SOAR series of academic review of mathematics clade learning modules I am your teacher Marisol V. Velasco of Pedro P. Cruz Elementary School your math teacher this day advanced lesson for grade 4 Tayo ng mag-aral, tayo ng matuto para matalino. Mathematics 4, Quarter 3, Week 3. Competency Identifies and describes triangles according to sides and angles. Identifies and describes the different kinds of quadrilaterals, square, Rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Objective At the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles. Identify and describe the different kinds of quadrilaterals square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Let's have a quick review regarding this lesson. Let's read the directions. Identify its figure if it is triangle or quadrilateral. 
Number one. Take a look on this figure. You're right. Quadrilateral. Number two. How about this figure? Very good. Quadrilateral. Number three. This figure is Good job! A triangle. Number four. This figure is Very good! Triangle. Number five. This figure is Excellent! It's a triangle. What is a triangle? Triangles can be classified according to the length of their sides and measurement of their angles. There are three types of triangles according to sides. First, this figure, this an equilateral triangle. It has three equal sides. One, two, three equal sides. Next. This figure is an isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides. One, two equal sides. Next is this figure. This is escalene triangle. It has no equal sides. There are three types of triangles according to angles. Take a look on this figure. This is a right triangle. It has one right angle measuring 90 degrees. Next is this figure. This is an acute triangle. It has three acute angles. It's measuring less than 90 degrees. Next is this figure. This is an obtuse triangle. It has one obtuse angle measuring more than 90 degrees but it's not less than 180 degrees. What do we call these different figures with four sides? You're right! Quadrilateral! Quadrilaterals are closed figures with four sides. They can also be classified according to sides in angles. There are five types of quadrilaterals. Number one, a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel and equal. Next, number two, a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, opposite sides are parallel and equal. Number three, a square. A square is a rectangle with four equal sides and line pairs of parallel sides. Number four, a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. A rhombus does not have right angles. And number five, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Let's have an activity number one. Letter A. 
Identify the following triangles according to their sides. Write your answer on the space provided before the number. Number 1. This figure is... Good job! I saw Celeste's triangle. Number 2. How about this figure? Very good! Escalant triangle. Number 3. This figure is... Good job! Equilateral triangle. Letter B. Identify the following triangles according to their angles. Write your answer on the space provided before the number. Number 4. This figure is Good job! Obtuse triangle. Number 5. This figure is very good, right triangle. Number six, this figure is good job. This is an acute triangle. Activity number two, write T if the statement is true, F if the statement is false. Number 1. Right triangle has one right angle. Is it true or false? Very good. The statement is true. Number 2. Escalant triangle has all equal sides. Is it true or false? Very good. The statement is false. Number 3. An equilateral triangle has no equal sides. Is it true or false? Good job! The statement is false. Number 4. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. Is it true or false? Very good. The statement is true. Number five. An obtuse triangle has an obtuse angle which measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Is it true or false? Excellent. The statement is true. Activity number three. Directions, match the quadrilateral in column A with its description in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. Here are the five items. So I will give you five seconds to answer this. Time starts now. Now, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1, letter B. It has four equal sides but have no right angle. Number 2, letter A. That figure has one pair of parallel sides. Number 3, letter E. It has two pairs of equal sides and four right angle. Number four, letter C. That figure has four equal sides and four right angles. Number five, letter D. It has two pairs of parallel sides. Good job, children! Thank you, 
children for listening. I hope that you learn a lot from this lesson. Muli, ako si Teacher Marisol V. Velasco ang nagsasabing tayo nang mag-aral upang matuto at maging matalino. Paalam!